Chapter 10 focuses on the concept of correlation and then uses of known correlations. So obviously we need to start with what is correlation. The definition of correlation is when one variable is somehow or some way associated or related to another variable. So there's some sort of connection, but when you determine correlation, keep in mind it does not prove cause. So for example, a very common correlation study years ago said that women who had had healthy pregnancies had eaten lobster during their pregnancy, whereas the women who tended to have a lot of medical issues during their pregnancy did not eat lobster. So there was this connection, but the eating of lobster did not cause the healthy pregnancies. It was a confounding factor in the sense that somebody who can afford to eat lobster can also afford good medical care. And if you can't afford to eat lobster, then perhaps you can't afford a doctor and choose not to go when you know you should have and could have prevented a problem with the pregnancy. And I totally get that people healthy, unhealthy, with money, without money, do and don't like lobster, but it was just an example. So in this section, when we're talking about um, correlation, we're going to be focusing only on linear correlation. This means that as one variable changes, the other variable changes at some sort of proportional or direct rate. There are other types of correlation, nonlinear correlation, such as exponential, etc., but that's not what we'll be looking at. And here's an example of a correlation problem that we could be studying, looking for a linear connection. Is there a correlation between the grade a student got in their prerequisite math course and their grade in their current math course? 